What's going on guys, it's Brody Kerner. Today I'm going to be talking about the same thing that I always fucking talk about, which is self-mastery. And I'm gonna talk some more about it because it's very fucking important. You see, self-mastery isn't a luxury. It's not an option. It is the prerequisite for success. Without this one skill, you will not have the ability to effectively implement and create. You will not have the ability to build that empire, that life, that relationship, everything that you want to create, you cannot do unless you master yourself because that is the only path to gaining true power, which is how you build. Now, let's talk about what self-mastery is. Self-mastery is the ability to have control over your mind. No matter what external influences are coming in, what emotions that brings up into you, whether it be limiting beliefs, self-doubt, fear, anxiety, your ego, like whatever it is that comes up, you have to be able to pause and make a rational decision in the right decision in that moment. Self-mastery comes and true results come from a ton of small disciplined actions compounding over time. Whatever your current circumstance is, is just a lagging indicator of your habits and everything that you have been doing. I, I used to be the guy that if I went to the gym, I was about to do 10 reps, I'd do seven. If I said that I was gonna run a mile, I'd run like three fourths of a mile, right? If I said I was gonna wake up at 4 a.m., I'd wake up at 4 21 or some shit like that. That is not mastering yourself. That is not being disciplined. And the reason that nobody else is talking about discipline right now, I'm the only person under 35 talking about discipline, and it's because I actually fucking care about you getting results in your life. If I didn't, if I just wanted to make a quick buck, I would just rent a fucking Lambo like every other idiot on social media, and I would just splash it in front of you. Lambos, 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 Ecom, 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 right? That is everything that is on social media right now. Nobody's talking about what I talk about because it actually fucking matters. That's why when you look at the programs, the coaching programs that coach guys who are 35 and up, they coach on the same shit that I coach on because after you build that seven, eight figure business and if that's all you're focusing on and you don't have what it is that I teach, a four dimensional way of living, then you are going to be fucked. You're gonna be overweight, not spiritual at all, probably divorced, kids will fucking hate you and that is not what you want. You think that you want this huge level of financial success, and to some extent you do, but without the rest of it, it's total fucking bullshit. You will hate it. And more importantly, you will hate yourself. So if you listen to anyone on social media, listen to the people who are telling the fucking truth, because that is all that I have set out to do. The carrot that I'm dangling in front of your face, it's not attractive. Nobody thinks discipline is sexy, but guess what? It fucking is. It is the only thing that creates results. You have to become the most disciplined version of yourself possible, and you need to get around people who are disciplined as fuck. Because if you decide, if you make that decision, and that's all it is, is actually a decision in the moment to change. If you make that decision, to become a disciplined individual, to start making small, actionable steps towards becoming the best version of yourself. If you make that decision and you're around people who don't wanna make the same decision, they're gonna hold you back because you're gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna run three, four, five miles today and they're gonna say, why don't we go out and have a drink, right? That's fucking loser shit. That is loser shit. If someone says to me, and I know them, and they're like, yeah, you know, I, I, I wanted to run, let's say, 10 miles this week. I ran about five, and I went out, you know, to dinner with a potential client or some buddies fucking three or four times. Like, I say, don't be a fucking pussy. Like, that is what a fucking pussy would say because they're not doing the shit that they said they were going to do. Self-mastery and confidence is the ability to do the things that you say you're gonna do to yourself. Because if you tell yourself you're gonna do something and then you don't fucking do it, like how the fuck do you think that you're gonna show up and hit any sort of target in your life? If you can't do what you say you are going to do, you will never fucking make it. Get that through your skull right now. 
We will teach you the way of doing this. And the start, the prerequisite to gaining the full stack of skills that it takes to be successful and happy, the prerequisite is self-mastery. And you can start small, right? This is don't make any commitment to yourself that you know you can't keep. Don't make any commitment to yourself that you wouldn't put money on. So one thing that we do with our high paying clients is when we're trying to push them outside of their comfort zone, whenever they tell us that they're going to do something on Sundays, we have a brotherhood call, which is all about accountability. And so we set targets for the upcoming week, one in business and one in mind, body, spirit. And so let's say someone meditates once a day right now and they're like, I want to ramp my meditation up to two times, right? Saying it is not enough. We say, would you bet on it? Right? And if they're like, fuck yeah, we would, then we make bets on it. They find another person that's willing to bet them money that they won't do it. Or they say like last week, I have this client, Austin Arguin. He's uh, this real estate investor from Canada. And he said, I'm going to meditate twice a day, every day this week. And if I don't, I'll shave my fucking head. It's great. Like as much as I want to see him shave his head, I want to see him meditate twice a day more than that because I know what that is going to do for his life. But that's the kind of environment that you want to be in. Those are the kind of people that you want to be around who are going to hold you accountable or else. That's what it comes down to. Fucking doing the shit that you say you're going to do. That's how the results happen. And you want to be around people who are also trying to get the same level of results. People who have already finished that prerequisite of self mastery are working on it every single day because it's not, you're not just done. Like I'm not like, I think that I'm the most disciplined person on social media under probably 35, but that doesn't mean that I'm next week. I'm the most disciplined person under 35. What makes me the most disciplined person out there is because of the consistent action that I put in. I never fucking let up. Rain, sunshine, fucking doesn't matter if I'm sick, feeling shitty. Like I wake up early, I get my meditations, I do my fitness, and I work on my business. That's it. Four areas. That's all I fucking do and I don't do anything else that doesn't move the needle forward. You have to really do an audit of the things that you are doing in your life. If something doesn't move the needle forward, then you should not be doing it at all. That is very fucking important. You should automate that or you should delegate that to someone who is like, if you, dude, if you really want to go big as an entrepreneur, you need to be focusing on thousand dollar an hour tasks, not doing the fucking $10 an hour task because you're afraid to let go of control or you don't want to outsource in the, you know, the grand scheme of things with seeing the long term goal of growing. Like you need to be focusing on things that move the needle forward, income producing activities. Now income may come in the form of life income, mind income, body income, spirit income. And what I mean by that is things that feed you your mind or your body or your spirit and move you towards your in mind, body, spirit goal. The same way in your business, when we say focus on income producing activities, you actually focus on shit that makes money, not operational shit, right? So where are the income producing activities in your mind, body, spirit business in your life? right? Where can you be doing things that should move the needle forward and dropping the things that you don't and holding yourself accountable? Because a lot of times the things that don't move the needle forward are the things that make us feel good, right? Like mental masturbation, people who think that building a personal brand is something that they should be doing for their business, even though they have no ability to monetize. They have no idea what that even means. And they're wasting time putting out content because it fuels their ego. That shit doesn't move the needle forward unless you have a brand that is directly correlated to a product that makes income. There's no purpose at all. And anyone who tells you different should shut the fuck up. That is what matters. Move the needle forward, master yourself. If this video resonates with you, if you took some value from this, if you had an aha moment, a light bulb go off in the last, however many, many minutes of me talking, I want you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to share the video because guess what? Someone that you know needs to hear this video. Someone out there needs this kind of raw, accountable energy, the intensity that we give off, not only from myself, but from our company, someone needs it. And I know this because we have the results to prove it. Every single person we work with changes their fucking life forever. They create new habits 
and routines and results in their life that radically change the course of their lifetime, right? That's it. So share this shit. I'm making that ask of you. I spend a lot of my time trying to help you because I care and I need you to help me a little bit. So let me know what you think of the video. I'll see you in the next one.